Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is Professor Anime and welcome back to yet again another March Comes In Like a Lion episode review. This is going to be on Season 2, Episode 2 of March Comes In Like a Lion. So without further ado, let's jump in. So usually when it comes down to March Comes In Like a Lion, I feel as though that the episodes are split up into two categories as to what the episode will focus on more of. It is either more of the shogi aspect of the series, or it is either more of the character building part of the series. In this episode, in episode 2 of March Comes In Like a Lion Season 2, we get more characterization on Goto. If you guys don't remember Goto, Goto back in Season 1 of March Comes In Like a Lion was the individual that, you know, is another shogi player just like Rei, and basically he is dating Rei's sister as well. So when it came down to what this episode offered more of, it was definitely a lot more focused on Goto's, you know, perspective of things and, you know, just giving us a little bit more characterization to his character, which I found to be pretty cool. And one of the biggest things that we learned from Goto as a character within this episode is that apparently Goto does in fact have a wife. Now, we know for a fact that, you know, he is dating Ray's sister, especially from what we saw in, you know, season one of March Comes In Like a Lion, but this is where we get to see, you know, things kind of like from Goto's perspective. So, anyways, as I was saying, when it comes down to Goto, we see him have a wife, and she is placed in a hospital, and honestly, unfortunately, it looks as though she is about to pass very, very soon, just on how ill she is that's why she is in the hospital because she is very very ill now like any man like any man he probably did not know how to handle this sort of situation it's it's quite obvious that this dude does in fact care for you know his wife but like any person they are not going to handle things well when it comes to knowing that your significant other could be on the verge of death and most likely from not really you know knowing how to deal with all this stuff you know all of this depression just from knowing that your wife is possibly going to die very soon you know not knowing when she'll be able you know to be back up on her feet you know that is very detrimental to the psyche of another individual who is you know obviously has very strong feelings for that other individual who is you know hurt so this in turn most likely is what affected Goto to basically have an affair with his wife with Kyoko. So this is where we see Kyoko come into the whole picture. So basically what I'm trying to say here is that just to deal with the depression that Goto was facing, you know, just from knowing that his, you know, wife could possibly die at any moment, you know, it's quite obvious to know that the dude was in search of comfort, like any normal individual. Sure, you know, probably not every single individual seeks out another woman, which is where Kyoko comes in, but... The point still stands is that this dude was in search for comfort you know like anyone in that state they are definitely gonna search for comfort in some way and in this case for Goto it was Kyoko now the fight that we saw in this episode between Rei, Goto and then also Kyoko who was in the picture during this whole confrontation that happened I don't really know if it happened you know within where this episode was taking place or if this was a flashback i think it was a flashback but anyways i digress nevertheless basically when we saw that scene within this episode ray was very 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 mad at goto it's quite obviously you know obvious that th these two do not have a very good history with each other whatsoever because Honestly, it seems as though Ray really hates Goto's guts because he thinks that Goto is a taking advantage of his sister. And as a brother, he's going to stand up for his sister. Now, mind you, Ray doesn't know what exactly is going on because Goto has his own problems. He doesn't know that, you know, this dude has another wife, mind you. But nevertheless, like, this is where we see the whole confrontation 
play out with each other with Rey and Goto and knowing Goto just due to you know how he is with things you know with Rey yelling at him with the depression that he feels from his wife having to worry about you know just all that most likely that is from where we see this dude literally punch Rey in the face several times basically just getting out his anger in some way as you know shit happens so seeing that scene was quite interesting, and I liked, you know, the realism of the drama that it actually brought to the table right there. But the thing about this is that, you know, Ray, while in a way he is right, that Goto is most likely taking advantage from Kyoko, because just think about it for a minute, okay? Goto is in fact taking advantage of of Kyoko and he even states this in the episode I believe that he knows that he is taking advantage of Kyoko but the thing is is that Kyoko Rei's sister is also taking advantage of Goto and they are completely aware of this they are completely aware of this Goto is taking advantage of Rei's sister because of the fact that you know just due to you know what's going on with his wife and he is looking for you know comfort temporary comfort mind you because we don't know if in fact you know if there is some miracle that in which we will actually see Goto's wife actually get back up I mean that is probably why he's doing Shogi in the first place you know he probably did have a passion for it for you know ever since he was a young kid and whatnot but I mean who knows? In order to, you know, put, you know, probably his wife, you know, back on her feet, he's probably going to have to win some matches. And that's probably where he is struggling when it comes down to being, you know, a shogi player. He is trying to pay for, you know, a possible operation on his wife. But anyway, I I'm probably getting off topic there. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below if you think that's exactly what is going on. Or do you think that it there will be actually a point in time in which we actually see Goto's wife pass away let me know in the comments but anyway you know that is where we see Goto basically taking advantage of you know Ray's sister Kyoko just for the simple fact that he's using her as temporary comfort and when it comes down to Kyoko Kyoko is technically just using Goto for his money but, you know, despite the fact that they are, in a way, taking advantage of the other individual, the thing is, is that we see in this episode that it does seem as though these two have some type of affection towards each other. Like, they actually have feelings for each other. At least that is what it seems like. And even if it's not really, like, you know, a whole big deal right now, you know, it's very, very small, but who knows, it could turn into something, you know, very, very big. And that's what could become the problem later on if his wife is to actually, you know, get back on her feet. But, I mean, the dude made a choice, so I mean, you know, you, you gotta face those problems head on by yourself and whatnot. But, I mean, anyway, when it comes to these two individuals, it does seem as though they are developing feelings for each other or may already have i mean it, it it seemed as though at the conclusion of this episode we could have possibly seen like a sexual sort of you know tension you know with the two of them at the end uh from what it seemed like maybe it already happened we don't really know with the full scope of things you know they are in a relationship but do we know if it's a sexual relationship we don't really know at this point because goto kind of like tied Kyoka up, you know, for the bed to make sure that she wouldn't do anything, whether that be like stealing some of his money or just do anything to him in general, you know, so when it comes to that, we don't really know far beyond the spectrum of their relationship, but just getting, you know, kind of like a little guideline of like what their relationship is like and a little bit more perspective on Goto, I thought that was pretty interesting about the episode. Now, as I said before, when it came down to the shogi aspect side of things in this episode, there wasn't really a whole lot that was shown in this episode, which isn't technically a bad thing because of the fact that, I mean, hey, we're getting more characterization with some of the characters, and honestly, that I like a lot. Shogi is just like the icing on the cake and whatnot, you know? But the thing is, is that as someone who doesn't really play shogi, I'm not really gonna understand, you know, everything that goes on with within the series of 
you know, March comes in like a lion. Sure, I find it to be very, very interesting, but honestly, I find the characters more interesting in the series. But I'm sure, you know, people out there, you know, who know how to play Shogi will definitely, you know, get the full grasp of, you know, what, you know, goes on in the series when it comes to the Shogi aspect of things. But when it comes down to this episode in particular, the episode didn't really focus on the shogi aspect side of things we saw it very briefly with soya um him you know training uh, or not training going up against another opponent when it comes to you know his side of things and from what ray actually uh talked about you know in this episode regarding soya is that even soya as intimidating as an individual he might be even he, as a pro player, makes a lot of mistakes. So to see that was pretty awesome. We know for a fact that Soya is just like a normal, you know, Shogi player. He's not OP. <laughs> he does, it's not like he cannot be beaten. He does, in fact, make mistakes. If he is stuck in a corner, he is technically stuck there. And he'll try his best to get out, but, you know, even he ends up making you know, questionable moves, you know? So I liked how they handled that part of, you know, the episode. I mean, there's probably a lot more that went on with the Shogi side of things there that, you know, others could probably understand, but that's what I at least got out of, you know, when it came down to that. And you know what? As another good thing that I'm glad that the episode did, it brought my boy Nikaido back, or as Momo calls him, Bodoro. But yeah, I think with that said, that pretty much does it for the review. I know for a fact this probably was a long review because when it comes out to March Comes In Like a Lion, it's a series that I just really like to talk about. I, I, I really do like to talk about it. I'm not exactly sure if you guys are you know, really into this series as much as I am. I don't really know if you guys want me to keep reviewing this series. If you guys want me to continue reviewing the series, let me know in the comments down below. But if I don't really see a whole lot of, you know, yes, 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 then I'll probably just put this on the back burner when it comes to, you know, reviewing it. I'll still watch it, obviously, but I am going to have to limit certain shows on what I will be reviewing for the fall 2017 season because it's getting to that point to where I'm reviewing a little bit too much. So, yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to continue reviewing March Comes In Like a Lion. And with that said, everyone, that about does it for my review of March Comes In Like a Lion Season 2, Episode 2. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Slap that like button twice. That really helps out your boy. <laughs> and with that said, everyone, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.